Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Anti Siphon Stream, where we are going to be going over the Meta CTF problem that will be retiring. And by retiring, it will just lose some of its points. Uh, but you can still complete the challenge just with less points. All right. Yep, it'll be worth 25 points now. Uh, hey, OG Captain Crunch. Thanks for joining us. Let's see. Okay. I actually had not logged in. So. Let me log in. Okay. Um, and I can share my screen here in a minute. This one probably won't take that long, but it is a fun, uh, a fun little challenge. So let's. Well, I think it's it's relevant because S three is becoming way more common these days. So, as as we start talking about you know uh, blob storage like this, like it, it's becoming uh, more and more relevant every every time. Exactly. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Share. All right. Hopefully you can see my screen. Okay. I um, adjusted the font size to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, all right. So the one that we're doing is called breaching buckets. It says, take a look at where this image is hosted and see if you can find the flag. Does anything stand out? So we can click on this image here. It's just this like old windmill, which is cool. Uh, we have, and, you and know, if, you, if you do a lot of CTFs, you immediately say steganography and you start jumping down that route. That's that's not it. Yes, uh, that is true. Anytime there is photos and then like you think, oh, it's not that. And then it ends up being that like every yeah. time. That's just how that works. Um, so we have this image here. Uh, we can see that it's hosted on an S3 bucket on AWS under K Smith. Uh, this just seems like, you know, the S3 bucket and then, you know, the file name here, folder file name. Now, there's a couple different ways to solve this. I know Noah solved it a little bit different than I did. And there, you know, we can look and see, you know, just mess around with these numbers a little bit and see that we have access to other files on other dates. And that is one way to just kind of brute force and just mess around with the numbers a little bit. What I personally did was I went to this um, Amazon S3 bucket here. And if you take off like the name in the files, you kind of have this list, which you can see here again, like the key. Then we have a date that was that it was modified, e tag, all this, and you you have a list of everything that is in this this bucket specifically. So what I did because I didn't use any tools, um, although you can, there are certain tools that will allow you to just kind of brute force and download all these images off the bucket. If you did that, that's like a good way to do it too. Um, it might be easier to do it that way, depending. The one thing that I had noticed here is like these dates are all kind of different. So you can see here it's like 2018. And then we go up to, let's see if these are all in like in an order here. But I saw some that were in like 2020, 2019. So we have some 2019 here. Uh, but if you look at the last modified tag, this is where it gets kind of interesting because it looks like they were all last modified at the same time. So what I did was I wanted to copy and then control find and just look at like the last modified date here. And we can see almost all of these were modified at the same time, starting with 20. Now, if I wanted to check, like if I did 21, we can see that we have no matches for that. If you do 22, we have no matches. And then if you do 23, you can see that we have one match here. And I could probably zoom in on this a little bit too so that y'all can see this. Okay. So here we can see um, this was last modified at 23 hours um, when all of them were modified at 20. So let's take a look at this image. I just copy uh, this and add it on to the end here. 
And if I zoom out now, I should just, here we go. Uh, we have our flag that says nothing like poking around badly named public S3 buckets. And if you put that into the meta CTF um, portion, you know, right here, you will get the flag. So that's like not too bad, right? But that's a very uniquely elegant way of, of solving that. Uh, I, I know that I was looking at uh, like the actual challenge solution and the, the author put in, um, they, they made this like long, complex, like Python script. Um, and then there was like a solution too. It's like, or you could just brute force the date name. Uh, both of those <laughs> were like way more complex than what you just showed us here. And I think that that, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's really cool. I know like I wrote this like really weird uh, PowerShell like parser that was like select stringing on key and then splitting the key tags <laughs> off and then like making the links and downloading them so I could look at them all. Um, like, I think that that's just really, uh, like I said, it's a really elegant solution. Um, that yeah, it, I mean, it, you sometimes have to... it's the simple things, you know? Right. You have to notice patterns. So that is like one thing, just kind of taking a look and it's like, okay, I can view every single one of these, but let me see if anything kind of stands out. And so you notice like, oh, like all of these were modified at the same time. Were they all modified at the same time? Or is there like one off or two off that might be different that I can kind of take a look at? Um, yeah. So that's how I did it. And it, it wasn't too bad. Um, like you said, I mean, making a script is great too, because when you get the experience, uh, which I should probably do because it would give me more experience. Um, but I'm just like, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. And so I mean, I don't know. I don't know that totally is like the hacker way. The hacker way is is a little bit of like, yeah, no, you you made this really obvious here. And I, I do love. I wonder if the uh, author of the challenge, when they made this, if they they left that as like an on purpose thing that you might find, or if that's one of those unintended solutions that uh, unintended solutions. Whenever you see those like write ups for uh, hack the box or other challenges, and they have unintended solutions. Um, I love those. Like those are those are the best. Um, they're they're way yeah. more fun than even the regular solutions. So yeah, I I think so too. Um, I think on my application here, when I had to do some uh, meta CTF challenges, I like found one thing that had an unintended solution, and they're like, I don't think you should be able to do that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It took me forever to do those. So. I know I was I wrote a few uh, cyber range challenges, and I like sent some off to other people in the sock. I'm like, hey, will you try this? And uh, sp specifically, uh, one of the sock analysts came out and he's like, yeah, I solved it in like 35 seconds. I'm like, how, how, how did you do that? Like, yeah. This was supposed to take like at least five minutes. And it was just like, oh, I just I just so I just did this one thing. And you're like, well, I wish I would have. Now I have to go delete that one log. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, funny. All right. Let's see. Hey, why not? <laughs> Hello, uh, Kimbro. Welcome. Uh, OG Captain Crunch said this is why or that's why everyone maintaining S3 should have a script to ensure all their buckets have correct security settings. Absolutely. Yes. Like, don't just set up S3 and assume it's set up correctly. Uh, there's a few default settings that even like make it a little more vulnerable. So you definitely want to like go and review those S3 settings. Yeah. The early days of cloud was fun because I feel oh, like yeah. it reminded me of like early days of actual just the internet in general, where it's like all of these things that people are discovering at once. Um, but, you know, luckily it's getting better. <laughs> it's getting better, but there'll still be new technologies and they'll be, you know, equally easy to exploit as time goes on. I think it's really easy to get tied up and we'll, we'll hear the old hacker stories of like, Oh yeah, I used to just you know get a Captain Crunch whistle and blow it blow into the phone. I got free calls, and we're like, man, it must have been so easy to be a hacker back then. Like we have <laughs> we have similar problems. It's just you know different technologies. Um, right. Yeah, the phones are more secure, but uh, we have S three buckets that are sitting just completely unprotected out there too. So yeah, I feel like I get a lot of questions um, regarding cloud from like a network engineering perspective because for me, I'm like in my head, I'm like thinking, hey, if you're a network engineer, like. I think that includes cloud personally um, for me, uh, although I think some companies have dedicated engineers specifically for cloud, but I yep. think that's kind of just one of those talents that you should have uh, because underneath it all, it's all data center, right? And it's all like virtualization yep. and understanding how those things work. So if you kind of already have a really good understanding of virtualization, operating systems, networking, Cloud is not that difficult to kind of migrate over to. From a security perspective, it's a little 
interesting, right? Because we have these uh, weird like URLs and domains and like numbers and keys. So uh, it is a little bit, I think it's easier to learn how to uh, maintain and configure cloud than securing, <laughs> like securing it right. or exploiting it personally, but. <laughs> Cool. Well, we only have that one today, y'all, uh, which, you know, if you got it, congratulations. If you didn't, you can still uh, solve it for some points, just not the full value, which is great. And uh, I think next week, what is next? Is next week the holiday uh, next week or is it the week after that? Well, so uh, next week we're going to do a release for the Cyber Range, but we're not going to do a retirement uh, because okay. it would be the retirement would be on um, the 28th. Which yeah. is holiday are, week. Are we doing anything for oh, the holiday? So for the holidays, we, we we debated about whether or not we were going to do a uh, holiday themed like CTF of ourselves. But honestly, uh, the holiday hack fest slash Kringle Con is or uh, yeah, Kringle Con. Like go do the Sands holiday hack challenge. It, it's awesome. Uh, that's where we, we talked about it. And we're like, well, that's what we're going to be playing. So uh, y'all <laughs> y'all come over there. Yeah, I should look into that and see if they allow streaming of that. Sometimes they don't, Absolutely. which I get yeah. nervous, you know, but we could maybe if I have some free days, I can hop on and, and do some challenges. But yeah, yeah, last year was super fun. They had like a you could like walk around this like uh, town. I remember specifically I had to learn like the dial up preamble, um, which was <laughs> was was new for me. I didn't actually know. I just knew the sound. I didn't like you could tell play and I'd be like, oh, it's dial up, you know. But I didn't know like what it was negotiating. You had to like tell it what baud speed had been negotiated or something. It was it was it was wild. It was there's some good stuff there. Yeah. Well, I've been doing the try hack me um, advent of cyber, and we did one yesterday where it was like hacking a game where they had a little game and you needed to hack the memory, and mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun and totally new to me. I'm like I have never used this tool or done this before. Uh, but it was really cool uh, explanation and just like an easy fun way to learn how to do it you know so yeah memory hacking is like both like extremely fun and extremely irritating at the exact same time sometimes yeah i did get a little frustrated <laughs> <laughs> but when i found it it's like oh yeah thank goodness this is <laughs> we're good now this is over uh but yeah that was a lot of fun so that's what i've been doing um but yeah we'll we'll be doing some other stuff soon and you know we'll do, we're do we do releases bi-weekly don't we yeah, that's what we try to do. So it's like the opposite week of whatever we do the retirement. Yep. So we released last week. We'll release next week. Um, and then we do retirement in the other week. So cool. Good. So stuff. then so there'll be a release on the 28th uh, and then there'll be a release or not the 28th. I said that wrong. Release on the 21st and then another release on the 4th. Sweet. All right, everyone, do we have any questions in the chat about this challenge or if you solved it a different way than I did? or used a tool. I saw, like there's got to be a tool just to dump and everything in an S sure I, that there is. I just did not. Um, I did some rudimentary Googling and found that there's like a tool called like lazy S three um, that supposedly will enumerate all that stuff out, but it, it's Ruby and yeah. I don't understand Ruby. So I can't confirm if it does or does not. I'm be honest. <laughs> nice. All right, everyone. Well, there's no questions in the chat. We can wrap this up. Um, but, you know, the video will be available on YouTube for people that are just coming in now or missed it. But yeah. All right. Well, bye, everybody. I'm going to kill it with fire. We will see you probably not next week, but the week after that. So I don't know. I should know the schedule. <laughs> anyway, all right. Yeah, bye, yeah, everyone.